see the leak. So that's why this tank was empty. All the rust on the inside. fuel pump looks like after 20 years this is what's in here there's literally on the inch there is literally a hole oh my god there's so much of it in here I could, I, there's, I'm not gonna pull it all out, but I bet you there's a good 10 handfuls of that. <laughs> Come on. The whole bottom here, all the way back and forth, feels just like there's this big sand pile. Well, that makes it pretty easy. Looks like you're getting a new tank. New tank, new fuel pump. Do this with your eyes closed because there's so much stuff falling down. Did I leave that? My chicken. What are you doing? You watching? You got a front row seat to this YouTube video. What's up, chicken? What are you doing? Those buttoned up, tanks in. 
the next question is does it work and I sure hope it does but uh, we got some more work to do before we can figure that out <laughs> A little audience under here. No spray. That is our stinky gas. Oh, I got all over my hand. Yep, that's a filter. Housing, anyways. Let's cycle the key again. I'm not getting any fuel. So we'll know if it's the fuel pump in the rear is working. If there's a uh, fuel here. All right, let me close my eyes and give this a pull. No, that's not good. Nothing. Let's go put this back in there. All right, so doing some searching today, discovered a couple things about this. For one, biggest thing is it's not an 86, it's an 88. I was told it was an 86, but uh, hadn't actually verified that, and uh, it's an 88. So, second thing, the fuel pump relay is located over here under this little black box. Um, I already took it off. I wasn't recording. I've got it over here on the bench. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Well, that's working. You can hear it switching. Another black on there. Just the right Alright, so this is bad. Therefore we get a bad relay. be able to jump this pin to the next one and we should hear fuel Lift the battery up so the pumps work which is good I verified that there's this little test connector pin I went online and was reading a forum this pin number here number six 
put power to everything. This relay is bad, the fuel pump relay. I gotta replace that. Uh, basically what happens is with that jumped, when you give it power, it turns on for one second, shuts off. But if you ground out this pin six, it allows you to just keep the fuel pumps running. And I was able to go underneath and verify that both of them do have power. So I'm gonna go ahead right now, get under there and disconnect the low pressure line coming from the tank up to the main uh, tank selector and see if we can uh, get fuel to come out of there. Well, new development. So I unplug these two lines on the, uh, <laughs> on the fuel selector. Pump in the tank works fine. It was just spitting out about two feet towards the front of the, from the nozzle. There's plenty of pressure. So the issue is the fuel selector is not working. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find one of those. I'm gonna pull it down and figure out what's going on with it because clearly the in-tank pump works if it can shoot it out that far. It's just not getting through the fuel selector for some reason. I've got a buddy who has a shop. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take that selector off, and he he's got a tool so you can make the the um, nipples for the fuel line. So I'm gonna pop the selector off, bring it out to him. He's gonna make me just a couple bypass pieces of, you know, hard line. And I'll just clip those in on the return and sending. And we'll completely bypass the second tank for now. I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil on this thing. We're pretty much getting close to firing it up. Fingers crossed. There we go. Oil looks pretty damn good. Okay. Don't need to go to town on those. <laughs> Napa Gold, 1515. Oh, this thing's probably yucky inside. Oh, yeah. That's plenty tight. A little tip for when you're pouring oil, be coming in it from the side. Pours better. Oh yeah, she just hit the full. We're good. We're still out for lunch. Nice. What time do you think you'll be back? Be back there. What time is it now? It's exactly three. Um, Okay, I'll try to swing out around four. You, Sounds great. Thank you, you got you got five sixteenths line. I should. Yep, I, I should have a little piece of it. Yep. All right, cool. Uh, part of this whole thing, when my buddy helped me out with these lines, uh, when I was there yesterday, he asked me if I'd bring my chainsaw out. He bought a bunch of rough lumber. He's just trying to cut it up for blocking. So get to get to play with my beloved Husqvarna five fifty XP, the best saw I've ever owned. Yeah. These are push lock, fuel line, formers. I'm gonna get a good shot of that. So let's see. So I'm gonna bring it in. Flush with the dies. That's too much. And you get your one for three eighths. 
Tighten this. And you pump it. So it stops, bottom it right out. And you'll know it's there. The gap almost disappears right there. Eventually it'll pop like that. Nice. And you know you got it yep. done. Spin it back enough so that'll fall out. Loosen this up. Actually, right now we can gauge how much we lose. Oops. See, it's literally... Oh, yeah. It's nothing. It's not yeah. even a measurable amount. It yep. doesn't matter. So your overall length is still going to be your overall length. You minus a quarter Wait, inch. You just minus not even a quarter. Did you guys just make that in like that? Yeah. Yeah. You actually, that tool made that little thingy. Mm -hmm. All it does is this. So here's the line. All it does is it makes it splay out like that. Uh, now, why do you video all the stuff just so you In case he gets kidnapped. Yeah. Um, Mostly. Yeah. That way I can tell him I got a, I can use it as leverage. Mm -hmm. No, I put stuff on YouTube. I got almost 10,000 followers right now. You do what? YouTube. Porn mostly. Yeah, and porn. I haven't done any of that for a while though. And okay. how many followers do you have? I've got like a followers. million video views. Nine. A nine. million people have video, watch the videos. If someone ever yeah. walks up to you and says, man, you look familiar. I can't figure out where I see you. You just say, oh, I do porn. <laughs> and their face just turns red. It's hilarious. Right? So you post these videos online? Oh, yeah, but you've yeah. got to edit all this stupid sh that we're saying right now. But that's yep, okay. that too. All right. We're back now with what I think will work. This guy goes in there. Boop. This guy goes in there. Boop. Beautiful. Yep. Oh, buddy, that's exciting. That is exciting. In case anyone was wondering what this old gas looks like, uh, you just have to do. Oh, buddy, oh. that is what twenty-year-old gas looks like. I'm gonna go jump those lines, and hopefully, we get something out of there. Oh yeah, he's filling up. There we go. Starter might have went, but uh, I don't see that. I don't know. All right, so it's been a little while since I've plucked away at this. I got it to kick over, but I haven't got it to really run yet, or it's actually stayed running. with some PB blaster before I oh ouch ow, 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 ow. ow my pinky since I'm skin there now <laughs> well that's what a plug looks like it's completely fouled pretty gnarly looking I've got pliers for this. Let me grab them. These right here are called spark plug pliers. You can grab the boot, 
pull it out without jacking your hand up. I like so when I like that. Rusty. Well, it seems like that is something. Firestone tires from 2000, still holding air. It's crazy. Dude, it moves! I can't believe those tires are still holding air. <laughs> After all these years. Well, it ran and moved on its own power. It took a little uh, motivation, but uh, that's the farthest this thing's driven in 20 something years. Longer than 20 years, almost probably 25 years. That's nuts. Oh yeah, quick tip, if you're ever like on the last squirt and like you can shake it and you can hear that there's liquid in there still, but like you can't get anything out, step on the can. I mean, I, I was a little overzealous there, but you can crush the can down a little bit. That repressurizes it, it gives you enough squirt to get what's left out.
Well, it runs and it drives. Thing's been sitting over 20 years and uh, on its own power, it drove from right there to right here. The farthest it's driven in over two decades. All right, next step for this thing is to get it down to the exhaust shop and have the exhaust fixed. And then, uh, for, you know, so it can be driven down the road. And then from there, it's road maintenance. Uh, brakes, tires, suspension work, whatever might arise. Once that's figured out and it's going down the road smooth, then I'm going to spend some time and money doing the interior. The body and the frame on this thing are, are good, and it seems that the motor's going to be all right. I mean, with 20,000 miles on it, you'd expect it not to have too many problems. Even though it's been sitting for decades. Thank you.